All right, uh, tough situation for you guys being so depleted and playing a very good team. Um, seemed like you guys fought out there um, just in this match. Um, so how would you describe the night from your perspective? Um, well, we knew it was going to be a dog fight um, from the initial. Um, I told our guys that we need to come out and, and just focus on one possession at a time. Um, I think they kind of got up on us early. Um, we didn't do a good job as far as handling the, the pressure. And um, they kind of jumped up on the lead on us a little bit earlier. And that's how they was able to kind of get it going. And they made some shots. Um, they're a good team. And I knew it was going to be a dog fight. But I like the way our guys responded in the second half. I really challenged them at halftime not to worry about the score clock, just to play each possession um, and don't take any possession off. And I think they did a better job with that in the second half. And how valuable can a situation like this be for the guys that are playing to get the minutes that they're getting against yeah. the competition they're playing? Oh man, this is this is valuable. Like I told them, like this is a, uh, you know, I, I gave them. I, they probably know what I was talking about. I said this is like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. You got the golden ticket, man. Like this is a, this is a golden opportunity for some guys. And we've talked about that because some guys are playing that maybe not play as much. Uh, so getting this experience for them has been uh, valuable. And also, too, my, my JV guys. Yeah. Like getting them an opportunity to play varsity competition, I mean, that can't get no better than that. So I told them um, um, that, you know, tomorrow is another game for us. Uh, we didn't, you know, win tonight, but we have a chance tomorrow to, to, to win and finish the tournament 2-1. and one. So that's our goal, to, to win tomorrow night and to finish the tournament 2-1. and one. And Theo, especially, mm -hmm. um, I think he might be your leading scorer for the tournament, actually, so far. Um, wow. So, um, and, you know, a guy off the JV team. So, mm -hmm. um, how valuable mm -hmm. has he been, and, and mm -hmm. how much growth have you seen from him the last oh. few nights? I mean, Theo Theo's a kid that, I mean, you can really tell his mental toughness. I mean, some kids, they, 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 they may be taller, they may be athletic, they may have a better skill set or whatever, but, Theo has a mental toughness, man, that, you know, at his age that most kids don't. I mean, we've seen that during football yeah. season. So, you know, for him to step in in the playoff and did what he did. So I knew that he was going to be all right, you know, playing up and playing against this level. And I'm happy for him because he's getting valuable experience. And like I told him in the locker room, man, like, you, you know, the struggle, you know, you, you're going to get better. You know, you don't, you don't lose, you learn from it. So it's a lot of stuff that we can get better at it. And um, he's going to be definitely a, 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 a bright, a bright player for us um, in years to come.